All right, to start this video, um, I had a viewer ask me about these little yellow things. He says, what are those little yellow things? They kind of look like resistors, but they're not, you know? And I didn't really, he really didn't quite understand what they were. They're, they're little axial leady device and stuff. Um, they are capacitors, all right? Um, so there's, they come tape and reel, and, and these are 0 0.01 microfarads. And uh, yeah, they just look like little resistors, and the pick and place machine can put them in just like resistors. So yeah, they're they're weird. Um, they don't see many of those, um, but I have a few of them. Uh, I have a few. Uh oh, I gotta back up. <laughs> I gotta back up. There we go. I've got a lot of them. <laughs> I've got a lot of them. <laughs> So I was at a flea market once and I bought this and uh, it says here that there were 7,500 left on the rail. So yeah, 7,500. Uh, so I've got a lot. <laughs> anyway, um, that's what they are and that's why I use them because I got, I got lots and lots and I got lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of them. Okay, but that's not what this video is about. This video is going to be about some other components. Okay, these are uh, diodes. All right, so diodes come in different sizes and stuff. Uh, these are like the 1N4000. I think these are 1N4004s, or maybe they're 1N4007s. It has to do with the voltage rating and stuff, but they're all the same. Little 1 watt resistors. And then here are some, uh, I think these are probably 3 watt, maybe even 5 watt. Anyway, they're bigger, fatter. I uh, forget what what these are, it doesn't really matter. The thing of it is, is um, why does this handle five watts and why does that handle one watt? Like, what's the difference? Maybe these are three watt. Three watt, we'll call it three watts and one watt. What, what's the difference? What, and and how, do they make, how do they make things that have axial, axial leads, okay? And so uh, I've opened some up and we'll take a look at them under the microscope. So let me move the camera over there. All right, uh, here are those little uh, 0 0.01 microfarad capacitors, and you can see how they're constructed. They're actually, this looks like you take a surface mount cap and you stick some leads on it, <laughs> and then you put some goo around it. So yeah, that's really interesting. Um, that's how they are constructed. All right, so no really big surprise there. Then what about the diodes? Okay, let's go over to the diodes. All right, this is the fat diode, and I've cracked it in half, and you can see that the, the uh, wires come in and, and they're kind of swaged, and they turn into these big blobs of copper, and they act as little heat sinks, I guess. And they also act as uh, kind of anchors in the uh, epoxy, so they can't pull out, right? There's some resistance for them pulling out. And then uh, right in the center, let's put it right here in the center of the screen, so right, right smack in the center is the actual uh, silicon. It looks here like a, a, a dark stripe. There's the copper, and then there's solder, and then there's that dark stripe right in the center. So there's solder on both sides and then leads on both sides. So that's, that's, how, uh, that's how these things are constructed. You know, I've never opened one up before. It kind of takes me back to my childhood. I, I was just fascinated with how things work and I was always tearing things apart. So I've never, uh, <laughs> I've never gotten over that. I always want to tear things apart and uh, see how they work, All right? So that was, like I said, the three watt version. And uh, let's take a look down here. This is the, uh, the one watt version, all right? And the one watt version, um, before they put the plastic, the black plastic around it, they put a little bit of white goo around it to, to, to protect the uh, silicon. So I don't know what that white goo is. It, it, it looks very foreign to me. I don't, I, I don't know what it is, but anyway, they, they put a little bit of protective white goo around it and then they, uh, and then they put it in the uh, black plastic. So what about surface mount parts? Uh, here's a surface mount part and the surface mount, surface mount parts are made the exact same way. Um, they have uh, they have a little le I mean they are basically you know they are basically that they are basically this one and then uh, what they do is uh, let me show you a sideways picture all right so here here's the sideways view and it's just uh, gullwing right they just put little flaps and bend them underneath 
Um, they just start out with one of those and then they just bend it underneath. That's how they make the surface mount one. So anyway, I thought that was really interesting. I'd never seen inside one of these things before. All right, so I also wanted to take a look at a, a TO220 diode. It's, it's like a transistor. It's mounted on a TO2, uh, TO220 package. It has two leads coming out. And uh, so I tried cracking it off and I didn't have a lot of luck. Uh, it just kind of destroyed it when I popped it out. But it does give you an idea how it was constructed. Uh, one of the leads, uh, in fact, one of the leads is still on there. You can see the lead, the lead hanging off over there. It, it goes down to some copper plate and that copper plate is kind of mesh. And then uh, the silicon wafer, the, the, the diode die is soldered down to that to that hunk of hunk of copper, and then the the obviously this one the um, the uh, silicon has been shattered and pulled off. But basically, it would be uh, just a regular chip of um, diode, and then the top would be a metal contact. So um, you can kind of get a relative size there of how big that one that one that one is. I think this is a 35 amp uh, diode, so it's much much larger than those than those other ones.